Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says if q is a prime number then prove that square root q is irrational. Now to prove that square root q is irrational where q is a prime number we'll use a result which says that let p be a prime number if p divides a square then p divides a where a is a positive integer this is the key idea to be used in this question now we move on to the solution we are given that q is a prime number we need to show that square root q is irrational we take let square root q be rational then we can write square root q in the form m upon n where m and n are integers having no common factor other than 1 and also n is not equal to 0 now that we have square root q is equal to m upon n so this means that q is equal to m square upon n square we got this on squaring both sides so this further gives us q into n square is equal to m square now since we know that q divides q n square therefore we have q divides m square since q n square is equal to m square now using the result given in the key idea which says that if p is a prime number and p divides a square then p divides a so here we have q is a prime number and q divides m square so this means q divides m since q is a prime number and q divides m square so this means that q divides m so we take let m be equal to pq for some integer p now consider this equation q n square is equal to m square let this be equation 1 so now substituting m is equal to pq in equation 1 we get q n square is equal to p square q square this means we have n square is equal to q p square now since Q divides Q 
QP square, therefore, Q divides N square, since QP square is equal to N square, and this implies that Q divides N since Q is a prime number and Q divides N square. So this implies that Q divides N. So now we have Q divides M and Q divides N. Therefore, Q is a common factor of M and N. But this thing that Q is a common factor of M and N contradicts the fact that M and N have no common factor other than 1. Because earlier we had stated that M and N are integers having no common factor other than 1. Thus, our assumption That square root Q is rational, is wrong. Hence we have that square root Q is irrational. Thus we have proof that square root Q is irrational. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution for this question.